there thanks for joining your girl Danny Blues and from the title you can tell this is basically going to be a video that's just going to kind of do like a tutorial in reverse to whereas I've already done a tutorial this is the finished look and I'm just gonna share with you the products for my Sephora play box and how I feel about them so if this is your first time here I am a beauty lifestyle fashion and what else do I do? Beauty, lifestyle, fashion. Oh, I talk about my natural hair too. So yeah, that is what I do. And hopefully you're going to enjoy your stay. So hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that bell that's next to it so you don't miss any of my uploads when they drop. If you are not new, hey booze, welcome back. Your girl is glad that you're here to support me for another video. So yeah, let's, let's go. Oh, before I start... If you are Greek or if you know any Greeks um, and you'd like to purchase one of these shirts, it says I am fall 08. That is when I came into my organization. I am a proud member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And one of my sorors owns this business. Um, it's Sophisticated Apparel and Designs. She's on Facebook and I'll link her information below in case you are interested in ordering from her. Now that we've gotten it out of the way, um, I have these products right here, and these all came from my Sephora play boxes over the year, and I just wanted to do like a un-tutorial and talk to you about the products. Um, <clears throat> I only pulled in a few items from other stuff that I couldn't find that they had, so like um, for my eyes, I put in the Stila... Um, glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow and kitten that is what is on my lid um, I also use the LA girl pro concealer that is underneath my eyes underneath my brows I love this stuff as y'all can see it's almost gone um, and I use the black radiance perfecting eyeshadow primer because I've never had an eye primer from the um, the Sephora play boxes that's just what it is and the palette I use for like my crease is the chocolate bar semi sweet and I'm trying to remember I don't remember what color I used what color did I use oh I used the black color licorice this one right here oh outside of those um, everything else on my face was used in here and I'm just gonna go through it um, so let's start from the face and move up well why did I do that that was so dumb but anywho um, the first thing I used was this Peter Thomas Roth water drenched hyaluron hyaluronic cloud cream hydration for up to 72 hours for all skin types um, it works okay it, it can it made my skin feel very um, creamy and moisturized and soft so I did like this um, let me get a little bit closer so you can see it yeah my light just won't let me be great whatever um, so yeah that one was okay I'm okay with that um, the next item is this professional pro balm to minimize the appearance of pores by benefit now this is not anything new but what I will say is this kind of irritated me because it was making my pores bigger and I don't know why this is the second time it has done that to me so I'm probably not ever gonna repurchase this again because I just don't like how it that is the second time this has done that to me this same primer has like made my pores just big like you're supposed to do the opposite which I don't even have issues with pores but after using this I've had issues with pores like my face looked a mess my makeup looked like there were just craters on top of my skin now it doesn't but I was so pissed I was like benefit if you mess up my face so um if you can't tell by now that's a no I ain't messing with this again well after I use it up Let's go to the eyes. For my liner, I use the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Lining Pen. And this is what it looks like. 
um, the tip is really, really um, thin, but it's so easy to not make that thin line and that kind of made me mad um it does stay on it doesn't smudge when it's on it's there it's just the um the tip has a way of putting out more product than you need so be aware of that it wears really good it applies easy but it can at times give you more product than you need and mess up your whole eye and then you got to go in there chain and stuff liner i use for my lower lash line is from makeup forever aqua extra large in the color black i'm just gonna say it's black and it's pretty dark i do like it it's in my lower lash line and i think it came out really really good um i did like this it was very creamy it went on easy but i'm just so tired of them using like dark black eye pencils give me some color sephora it's 2018 my brows i use the anastasia beverly hills brow is um it's it's gone it's like gone as you can see there's like nothing in there and i use this for my brows and anyone that knows me knows that i love my anastasia beverly hills brow is it is bay i love it and this one was in the color soft brown. Like I can wear soft brown, medium brown, dark brown. They all work for me. But, oh, <laughs> it's nothing on my hand because it's gone. But they gave such a little tiny itty bitty piece. I ran through that. Like you can't give me this much product and think I'm supposed to get this much use. Do better. Scara I used was the Superhero by It. And it's so funny because I got this from Ulta for my birthday gift because i'm last in line but i did like this i use this on my lashes as well as my lower lashes and i've had my lower lashes saying hello so i do like this but i don't like it because i don't like how they're not um like understanding that women of color come in shades not shades so i haven't bought anything from it because of that but this is a bomb ass mascara they also gave me a beauty blender micro mini and this is what it looks like now because i used it and it worked really well i used it in this area blended out my highlight i used it on my cheek blending out highlight as well as blending out my um under eye concealer it did a really good job it swelled up yeah like it's little now it swells up a bit but it's still kind of too small for my hands i like something bigger but overall it did a really good job blending it was just like having a beauty blender just a mini um for my eyes this is the smashbox cover shot golden hour eye duo in a color turned on and psyched and i felt like these were some pretty nice colors and i do have them both on so i really really like these colors um they were buttery easy to blend pigmented and, and look you see it shows up on my dark skin and it's really really nice it has a nice sheen to it um i was pretty impressed with this little thing so sephora this was a winner right here for my highlight this is the cover fx moonlight drops and of course it's on my nose my lip chin yeah and I'll sh give you a little taste of it so it's a nice little highlight but it's not a BAM highlight for me like and I just didn't want to put too much on but it looks really really good so it was pretty decent it was like a subtle highlight it wasn't a <gasps> but it worked like it worked now this is the bare minerals mineral veil um yeah i don't even know mineral veil what but i used it as a under eye setting powder this is what it looks like it's not much in here oh bogus but at least it's some on my fingers, so 
I'll show y'all what it looks like. And I like how it blends out really, really well. Like, it didn't give me any flashback. And it just, I didn't bake with it. I just set my under eye makeup with it. And I set my chin and my nose. And it's beautiful. So, I really, really like this. I don't know if it's a finishing powder or a setting powder. I use it as both. The foundation it gave me was Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the color Y505. Yo, yo. Yo, this is the first time a foundation has came randomly in a box and it fit. Look, you can't tell me this did not fit my face. And I still got a whole lot in here. So I might end up buying this Makeup Forever um, foundation. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to play with it some more. And look at that. I would not have thought that this would have fit me. But it fits me perfect like they randomly sent me that in my Sephora play box and I was like there we go again with a random shade that ain't gonna even be close and look at me you can't tell me I ain't fine perfect match good job Sephora last item well almost last item is what I have on my lips which is the NARS velvet lip glide in bound yo yo boo I ain't even use this with a liner that's how beautiful this color is and I don't want to use much look at that this is beautiful 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 and I mean they say it's matte a velvet matte but it does transfer but it looks so good on my lip look it don't even look matte like y'all see the shine but it's so pretty I love the consistency it feels like nothing is on my lips so I kind of see why people are going crazy over this this is beautiful and I'm probably gonna have to pick this up in a full size because baby when spring and summer come I'm gonna have a full size last but not least is Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray y'all know about this this OG I don't even need to tell y'all that it works because y'all know it works right right last but not least is urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray y'all know about this this OG I don't even need to tell y'all that it works because y'all know it works right right all right so overall this was a really good collection of Sephora play products um every time i get it it's a hit or miss but i was able to pick out certain ones i've gotten and they all worked out really well i think um there's nothing over here that didn't work for me outside of the benefit at professional it had my pores looking crazy but it got me back right so i ain't tripping so i'm just like you know what i won't even mess with benefit like i don't even like benefit like that anyways because of how they be doing women of color beauty bloggers it's cool but with that said i'm happy with it um my sephora play box for january sucked um i'm hoping the ones after that will be decent so we're gonna see how it goes because february and march are probably gonna make or break if i cancel my subscription which i've had for like two years which is ten dollars and eighty cent a month and that adds up like that adds up. That's over a hundred something dollars a year that I'm spending on just samples. Right. So, so for our kudos, get your stuff together. I appreciate your products. And I'm really excited to see what you have for 2018. Please give me a reason to keep my subscription. Thank you for joining me for my untutorial and my random reviews and I didn't see that over. This is my popcorn. I love this. I'm on a keto diet. This is like bae. But yeah. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed. Comment down below if you've interacted with any of these products and how you feel about them. Thanks for watching. Give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.